JPEG or RAW? That is the question. Hey guys, Chase Griffith of Photography, Graphoto.com. Today we're going to talk about RAW or JPEG. What should you be shooting? So uh, what is RAW or JPEG? Those are image types that you can set in your camera. <clears throat> RAW, uh, is com RAW has all the data, so when you snap a photo, everything from that sensor is put onto the file. So in JPEG, your camera actually processes the image and camera and throws away the information that it doesn't need. So the, one of the downsides of RAW is the, the files are a little bit bigger because it keeps all the data, but memory and storage and hard drives nowadays are getting relatively inexpensive, so that's not really a problem. And uh, another downside is your camera's buffer can't keep up as much because the images are bigger, but the solution to that is don't spray and pray. Don't take so many photos at a time that your camera should be buffering them. You should never be doing that. So, Instead of spraying and praying, get your image, compose, anticipate the shot, take one or two, and you should be able to nail it. <clears throat> and really good things about RAW is the image quality. Image quality in RAW is better simply because you have all that data to play with and your brain is a lot smarter than your camera. So you get to adjust the things like white balance. You get to adjust things like highlights and blacks and whites and shadows. You get to adjust all those things. Contrast, you adjust and tweak the image the way you like it. Get your style going instead of depending on your camera to detect, to dictate what your style is. So <clears throat> today I've, uh, I'm going to shoot both RAW and JPEG in camera. I'm going to set them up both side by side and be editing them later on so you can see what I'm talking about. But as you can see, we're in a hockey rink. It might be a little bit of echoey. Echo. A little echoey. So well, I picked this because of the contrast of light between in here and outside. So the white balance in here is different than the white balance outside. And so I want to show you just how much more you can adjust with a RAW file as opposed to a JPEG file. So let's go ahead and get out here, take a shot so we get the inside and the outside in one image. Right now I'm shooting one 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 sixteen hundredth of a second. So that's, ex no, that's ISO 1600. One one hundredth, one one twentieth of a second where I want to be, one one twenty fifth. And that's going to be exposed for inside. Okay, there you go. You can see outside is overexposed. Inside is relatively good, nicely exposed. White balance is kind of weird. So now we're going to expose for outside. And so we're going to have to bring it up one stop, two stops, two stops to get a proper exposure for outside. So, wham. And you can see how underexposed it is here. And we're going to play with those files right over here. So here we are back at the desktop computer here. You see we've got Lightroom going here. And there's another thing about RAW is you always you got to edit your RAW files. Because uh, I think RAW is undeveloped film. And so when you get a RAW image, it's essentially, as you can see here, kind of uh, kind of flat. Kind of just not, not a whole lot of dimension. So if we go over to the JPEG, which is this one, you see the computer kind of tweaked a little white balance. Maybe uh, added a little contrast. Not necessarily what I would have done. So anyway, so what I usually do, bam, a little clarity it up. Just add a little clarity, I like contrast. So let's fix this white balance. It looks like it's a little bit too warm for me. Oh yeah, it's magic. See, that looks more like an ice, white ice rink. Okay, so our outside here is uh, overexposed. So let's bring some whites down. Let's bring some highlights down. Okay, and see now we can kind of see that out there a little bit better. Um, all right, so that looks, pump up some blacks, pump up some shadows. Okay, that looks better. So let's go before and after, boom, before, after. Pretty big deal. I should do it this way. All right, anyway, so now we're gonna copy these settings so you can see as you can copy all that, come over here, we're going to toss them up there. And uh, so JPEG, raw. JPEG raw, let's slide some sliders around. 
So you can see the raw, the temperature is measured in, was it Kelvins? So this is 3,573, it goes from 2,000 all the way up to 50,000, okay? So I like it right there, right about in there somewhere. <clears throat> and see in the JPEG, it's a slider from, assuming zero, zero to minus 100 or plus 100. So you don't have as much areas to play in there. Same with just everything else here. So that's the JPEG, that's the raw. Okay, and then here's the underexposed here. Let's, uh, we need to bring the exposure up in the barn. So, first of all, like I said, like that, a little clarity, a little contrast, that's just personal preference. So now we're gonna bring up some exposure and bring up some blacks, bring up some shadows, bring down some whites. And the, this light contrast is pretty extreme. If you really wanted to get this right, you'd go into an HDR mode, maybe a high dynamic range where you take three exposures, one well exposed, one underexposed, one overexposed, and then you get a layer them all on top of each other. That'll be for another video some other time. So, there we go. And we'll just go ahead and copy these. Bing. Okay, toss those over there. So you can see now, JPEG, RAW, JPEG, RAW. And let's see if we can go ahead and, what's the, anyway. That's pretty much it. RAW, it, it shines in post, where you can really have control of your images and really bring out the white balance, the exposure, the contrast, and all these over here a lot more than you can in a JPEG image. <clears throat> Just draw equals flexibility, JPEGs equal suck. So don't shoot in JPEG. RAWs may take a, well, because people usually go back and edit their JPEGs too. So, I mean, you're gonna edit photos. You take a photo, you wanna go edit it. Um, we don't get into, we didn't get into DSLRs to save time. We got into them to uh, get better images and raw is where you're gonna get your better images. Anyway, this is another video. Thanks for watching. Chase Griffith Photography, grifffoto.com. See ya.